Talk about your game plan. It was simple, just take the lead right, right away and then uh, hang on. That's that's how I feel more comfortable racing, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Is there any point in that last 200 we thought they might, they might get me? Or, uh... About 150 to go, I definitely started to feel a uh, tightening up, but definitely the home crowd pushed all that and uh, kept me going, got, got me the gold. Let's talk about a little over a year ago, you were working at Don's. You yeah. got some gold arches to gold medal. <laughs> yeah, that was a source of income at the time. You know, I just had my own plan, just training on, on myself and uh, getting money at the time. But when you were working at Don's, you ever thought you'd, you'd be in this situation? No, no, not like this, not this fast. You went out 23 seconds. Was that the original plan for the first 200? Uh, the original plan was just getting out right away. Really wasn't focused on what time that was going to be, whether it be like 26, 24, 23. I, I just wanted to get out in the front. Mentally, were you thinking, wait, I might be going a little, a little too fast? Or? Uh, I, really, I was excited just to be representing USA. Uh, I just raced the way I was, got excited, but stayed positive, trusted my training, and hung on. Last 100, you know someone's adventures can be coming up on you. What was going through your head trying to hold off the, the last judge? Just, Pick up your knees. Let's keep moving and get to that finish line. <laughs> First, what does it mean for the USA to get two medals? The hard work that I've been going through is definitely been paying off. With Eric there on the medal stand along with you, how special is that? So excited! You know, it's a home championship. We got both Americans in there. It's it's exciting. This, this track has been pretty nice. You ran 146 back in January. You won the U.S. title. Uh, now won the world title on the same track. How does, are you going to be sad to see this thing go? <laughs> it's, uh, I'm definitely going to be sad. You know, it's basically my home track. and uh, But it definitely didn't let me down winning each race on it. So. Of course. You come in as an unsponsored athlete. What is the status on trying to someone pay you to run as fast as you've been doing? Uh, again, not worried about it. You know, let me, let me uh, Mahawi, remember how we do it and a lot of stuff. I just keep racing. Last year at this point you were like a 148 guy. Did you ever think a year later you'd be a world champion? No, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, when you're at Colorado Springs, what, what do you think was like a realistic goal for you long term? Oh, uh, press conference, guys. A couple more. Like hopefully making a team eventually. I didn't know it happened this quick. But uh, definitely the hard work is paying off. With this title, do you think making an Olympic team is making Olympic team or bust? Will be a disappointment if you don't make the team. Uh, of course, I would be disappointed, right, but uh, I'm taking race by race, and then eventually, hopefully, make that team. Congratulations.